Before starting the Infinite War, let's try to understand a few things first. There are four bonus attacks that will influence you to get a high score in completing Infinity War. 1. Build up strength to get attack bonuses using arrow towers. 2. The power of the artifact to get an attack bonus on the cannon turret. 3. Tech powers to get an attack bonus on the ice tower. And 4. Is beast power to get an attack bonus in the tower damage spell. These four things will also influence you in getting a high score in running Infinity War. And before you start Infinity War, you can also buy some bonus items in the combat center. In it, you can also buy some bonuses to use before playing Infinity War. I only buy what I think is worth buying. Here, I buy bonuses for each level so that I get the highest score and get prizes that can be considered. I started using all the items I had. Try to start by getting the first position out of here, not from here. Usually if I get the enemy out of this position, I only get a low score. So if the enemy comes out of here, the step you can take is to exit the game and enter the game again until you get where the enemy is coming out of. Okay, I've got the position I want. So I'll show you how to get the highest score. Please don't skip this video so you don't miss any information on playing Infinity War. Here I take a 3% resources bonus to increase the level of the tower I built. And next I take a 20% bonus to mage for tower. In total, I have got a 110% bonus for the tower. In this third stage, I also took a 20% damage bonus for towers. This point, we can no longer restart Infinite War. So please, moving forward, be mindful of the power-up you choose. In this fourth stage, I chose to take 12% bonus to increase the bonus for resources. Stage 5, it's better if you choose to take the value boost reward because it will increase the good reward for each stage. You see, good gifts are available. Of course I choose this orange colored bonus reckoning. It will deal a tons of damage to monsters within a large range. Here you can pause for a while to see where you have to build a new tower. Don't let the monsters and pass the road without getting hit from your tower. It will make the monsters easily enter the last gate. In this stage, I will take 30% damage, so all towers will get buffed. I prioritize upgrading the tower behind this to the next level, because in addition to being able to reach more maximum monsters, otherwise the tower is just silent and only reaches monsters within the tower radius. get another orange bonus option. Here I choose freeze ground, which will cause all monsters to freeze for 12 seconds. Some good prizes here but I will choose 40% bonus damage for Spell Tower. 
so it will give more damage to monsters. Always pay attention to the resources you have. If you have a lot of resources, utilize them one by one tower spells to reach a larger radius. By increasing the level of the tower you currently have, you can kill monsters faster and easier. Two good prizes here, but I will choose Reckoning, because it will kill more monsters than Freeze Ground. The most important thing in this video. In this stage I failed, because many monsters managed to enter the last gate, even though I had used Recoining and Freeze Ground. The step I had to take was to exit Infinity War and resume. It will automatically repeat this stage again. So you have the opportunity to think about what steps you should take to complete this stage. Wait for the momentum. When the time is right, then you will have a good chance to get a high score and give huge damage to all monsters. Here I use Freeze Ground, and after the effect is finished, then continue using Reckoning. I already got 39,000 plus score, I will try to get 4,000 plus, so I will try to get top 5. I got the freeze ground again. So it will be a very good capital for you to continue in the next stage. Here I have 16 lives left, so I will let this one strong monster pass through the gate. 
and let six lives be wasted for that monster. If using freeze ground only for that monster, then there will be many monsters that are not killed. Spell Tower works only for the strongest monsters, and small monsters will enter easily. And finally, I got 41477 score. That is a good score. If you choose the prize and have a good strategy, then you will be able to get a higher score than I got this. I am ranked four. The distance between my score and the rank above is not too far. If I stay at rank four until Infinity War is reset every week, then I get a prize of 5,000 XP Lord, 700 Courage Coins, and seven pieces of March Speed, 25% and you will definitely be able to get a score above what I got this. The prize for rank 1 is very good to achieve, and all the coins you get can be exchanged in the store and exchanged for items you want and will make your castle even stronger. So, Infinity War is very important to play. And what I recommend most is always exchanging Obsidian Steel, Ancient Relics, Titan Crystals, and Material Chests at the Nefini War Shop. The rest will adjust to what you need. That's what I can share with you guys. Keep waiting for other interesting information, and of course, what will make your castle stronger. See you at another time.